everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the new Kylie Reformulated Lip Kits. If you do wanna see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Kylie is currently having a sale on her website. It's her annual sale. It's buy one lip kit and get one free. I purchased 23 out of the 25 shades in this collection. The two shades I wasn't able to purchase was Dulce K and Better Not Pout, but I'm so happy I was able to grab the other 23 shades. I got a couple of these shades when she had 40% off for black. Black Friday. Then Kylie recently had 25 to 30% off their website. That's when I purchased a couple more shades. Each lip kit retails for $29 at Ulta Beauty and Kylie's website. I do want to read a little bit about these lip kits on Ulta's website. The Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lip Kit lets you create Kylie's long-lasting matte lip looks. This matte liquid lipstick and lip liner duo is the perfect ready-to-go lip routine. The highly pigmented formulas are vegan. And then it goes on to state the benefits. I've only tried her old formula. I haven't tried her new formula. Hopefully this formula is good. I'm gonna go off by the Ulta Beauty website since they have all the shade numbers in order versus on Kylie's website there isn't any order. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Kylie and then below that it says Kylie Jenner. It says matte liquid lipstick and liner. You get 0.10 fluid ounces or 3 milliliter of product. Up at the top you have the shade name. This shade is called 100 Posy K. On the side of the packaging you have the color of the shade inside so that's on both sides and then on the back I have a little description the list of ingredients it does state that the matte liquid lipstick was made in the USA and the lip liner was made in Italy and this has an 18 month shelf life down at the bottom there isn't anything printed so let's see what the shade in Posy K looks like here's what the inside of the packaging looks like and then here's what you get inside. You get a matte look of lipstick and a lip liner. Here's what the lip liner looks like in Posy K. Here's what the doe foot applicator looks like on the matte liquid lipstick. Again, here we have the shade in Posy K. I'm gonna line my lips with the lip liner. And then I'll fill it in. Now I'm gonna apply the matte liquid lipstick in Posy K. It doesn't smell like vanilla like her previous formula smelt like. It just smells like straight up chemical. Here's what the shade in Posy K looks like. It's beautiful on the lips. I'll wait a couple of seconds for it to dry down completely, then I'll do a kiss test on the back of my hand. Here's what it looks like dried down. I like it. Now let's do a kiss test on the back of my hand to see how much transfer we get. That's actually not too bad, so we did get a little bit of transfer. The majority of the product is still on my lips. The next shade is called 102 Extraordinary. Here's what the lip liner looks like. Here's what the matching liquid lip looks like. Again, really beautiful. I did have a little bit of difficulty removing the shade in Posy Cake using my makeup wipe. I went with my Jaclyn Cosmetics, what is this called? Pout Off Nourishing Lipstick Remover and it came right off. Again, I'm gonna line my lips and fill it in. Again, another beautiful shade. Here's what it looks like dried down. The formula does feel a bit drying on my lips. If you don't like that dry feeling, then you're probably not going to like this. Her original formula was drying as well. I thought they would improve. I love this lipstick remover from Jaclyn Cosmetics. It removed that liquid lipstick and lip liner so easily. The next shade is called 201 Show Off. Here's what the lip liner looks like. Wow, that is vibrant. And then here we have the matching liquid lip. Another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Show Off looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. The next shade is called 300 Coco K. Here's what the lip liner in Coco K looks like. And here we have the matching liquid lipstick. This shade seems to be a little bit light. Here's what the shade in Coco K looks like. 
Here's what it looks like dried down. This shade is too light for my skin tone. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called 301 Angel. Here's what the shade in Angel looks like. Here's what Angel looks like. This shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Angel looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. I love this shade. Next up, we have 302 Snow Way Bay. Again, very beautiful. Here's what the shade in Snowway Bay looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. Again, this shade is really pretty. The next shade is 500 Kristen. Here's what Kristen looks like. This shade is really pretty. Here's what Kristen looks like. Here's what Kristen looks like dried down. Love this brick red shade. The next shade is called 400 Boss. Here's what 400 Boss looks like. Here's the matching liquid lip. Here's what the shade in Boss looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. I don't like how red looks on me, but this shade is beautiful. Next up, we have 401 Victoria. Here's what Victoria looks like. Victoria is a little bit deeper than the previous shade in Boss. Here's what Victoria looks like. Here's the previous shade in Boss. Victoria is more of a true red, where Boss is more of a bright red. Here's what Victoria looks like. Here's what Victoria looks like dried down. I don't like how red looks on me. Let's see what the next shade looks like. Next up, we have 402 Mary Jo K. Mary Jo K does look similar to the shade in Victoria, but it's definitely a little bit deeper than the shade in Boss. Here's what the shade in Mary Jo K looks like. Here's what the shade in Mary Jo K looks like dried down. This shade is beautiful, but it's just not for me. Next up, we have 403 in Bite Me. Here's what Bite Me looks like. And then here's the liquid lipstick. Here's what the shade in Bite Me looks like. This shade does not match the outer packaging. The side of the packaging is a little bit darker than the actual liquid lip. Here's what it looks like dried down. As you can see, it dried down a little bit uneven. I'm not liking this shade at all. The next shade is called 503 Bad Little Thing. Here's what Bad Little Thing looks like. And then here's the matching liquid lip. Here's what the shade in Bad Little Thing looks like. 
here's what it looks like dried down. This shade is really pretty. The next shade is called 504 Hollyberry. Here's what Hollyberry looks like. This is what I expected the shade in Bite Me to look like, a little bit deeper. And then here's the liquid lip. It seems to be a little bit patchy, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in Hollyberry looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. Again, it dried down a little bit uneven. I'm not sure why the darker shades are drying down a little bit patchy. It's not my favorite. The next shade is called 505 Autumn. Here's what the shade in Autumn looks like. Here's what the matching liquid lipstick looks like. Here's what the shade in Autumn looks like. Here's what the shade in Autumn looks like dried down. This shade is pretty as well. My camera battery is about to die. We still have nine more shades to swatch, but I want to show you the swatches. Here's all of the current swatches we did today. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow for the rest of the shades, and I will see you then. Hey guys, it's the next day. Let's finish swatching the Kylie Lip Kits. The next shade is called 512. This is their Ulta Beauty shade. Here's what the shade in 512 looks like. And here's the matching liquid lipstick. Here we have the Ulta Beauty exclusive shade. It's really beautiful. Here's what it looks like dried down. Again, this shade is so pretty. Next shade is called 620. Here's what the shade in 20 looks like. This shade is really beautiful. Here's what the shade in 20 looks like. Here's what the shade in 20 looks like dried down. Again, another gorgeous shade. Next shade is called 700 Bear. Here's what the shade in Bear looks like. This seems way too light for me. Yeah, it's definitely way too light. Here's what the shade in Bare looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. This shade is a little bit too light for me. Let's see what the next one looks like. Next up, we have 701 Exposed. Exposed seems to be a little bit lighter. Here's what the shade in Exposed looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. I don't like how the shade in Exposed looks on me. The next shade is called 704 Sweater Weather. Here's what Sweater Weather looks like. And then here's the matching liquid lip. Here's what the shade in Sweater Weather looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. This shade is pretty as well. The next shade is called 800 One Wish. Here's what One Wish looks like. And then here's the matching liquid lip. Here's what the shade in One Wish looks like. Here's what the shade in One Wish looks like dried down. This shade in One Wish is a little bit too light for my skin tone. The next shade is called 801 Queen. Here's what Queen looks like. And then here's the matching liquid lip.
Here's what the shade in Queen looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. Here's what the shade in Queen looks like. As you can see, the liquid lipstick doesn't match the actual shade. The second to last shade is called 802 Candy Cake. Here's what the shade in Candy K looks like. It kind of broke apart, but that's fine. I'm not sure why the lip liner is darker than the actual liquid lipstick. Hopefully it does dry down darker. Here's what the shade in Candy K looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. Another beautiful shade. The last shade is called 808 Kylie. Here's what Kylie looks like. And then here's the matching liquid lip. Again, same thing. The lip liner is darker than the actual liquid lip. Here's what the shade in Kylie looks like. Here's what it looks like dried down. I actually prefer the lip liner versus the liquid lipstick. Here's what the rest of the shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. I will be wearing this shade in Kylie throughout my entire day and I will leave below in the description box how it does wear. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.